All right, guys. So I just I give you a little bit of a progress update here. Uh, so all, basically, all the aluminum pieces uh, to the engine. I dipped them in vinegar for about a week or so or something like that and it did loosen up a lot of the grime on them so I wanted to show you what we, what we got here. This here came out pretty good. Um, so yeah, I had to, so once I pulled it out, just had to do the normal shoot with a super clean degreaser and then scrub it and just hose her off. That's about it. Um, yeah, I mean, pretty impressive. It came out really clean. Not too shabby actually. That's the front timing cover there. So here's the rear main seal cover. Again, pretty good. I'll just probably have to replace these gaskets. I'm not too sure if you have to, if you can replace the gasket or you have to replace the whole thing. I'm not too sure about that yet, but I have to research it. But yeah, again, uh, came up pretty good clean. I'll probably just go over this with some scotch Bright or something fine, just to kind of give it one, like a final clean, something like that. Uh, however, some stuff though, uh, depending on where you live in the world, I guess, and what your cold weather is like. Uh, so this piece here, uh, a lot of the grease and grinding came off it, but uh, there's still, you get that, like, it's like an aluminum corrosion, just like barnacles on the surface. Uh, even the, the vinegar and uh, degreaser won't take that off, so you have to, like, let it dry. And then just kind of take a wire brush something that's got some good bristles on it like that and just kind of give it a I did like a half and half here just to show you so yeah you have to kind of work at it but uh, again this is something maybe I don't know it should be replaced I don't know if you can buy these and replace these or not that's that's something else I gotta look into um, the only thing is though it's just pitted from the corrosion, aluminum corrosion uh, that's about it uh, yeah, rather than these things here being kind of buggered up. Yeah, so yeah, that was done. And then I did the valley pan here, the oil pan. Basically took a scotch bright to it and started doing like another clean to this thing. So it came up pretty good actually. Uh, after I got out of the vinegar there, got to the bottom yet, but uh, not too bad. That, vin uh, that vinegar is going to be like a, a thing I'm probably going to use now. Um, so right now, I haven't showed you yet, but the oil pan, it's soaking in that, and I'm going to leave it in there for about a week, and uh, I'll do, I've had it in there uh, yesterday and today. So I'll take a quick video of that in there, and then after about a, a week or so, I'll do like a, I'll put all this into one video and show you. But yeah, uh, pretty impressive what it can do. Um, I guess if you had like a shop or something like that or in, and you're just like rebuilding a car or something like that and it depends on the rust I guess but uh like it seems to take care of it like you leave it in there for like a I don't know four to four days maybe a week depending on the severity of the rust and you pull it out just scrub it down shoot it with degreaser and you can, it cleans up pretty good actually so I may use that on some uh, uh upper and lower control arms to my car eventually because uh Needs new bushings and that anyway, but uh, that's for later on down the road. So uh, yeah, I think that's uh, I think that's all I got for now. But yeah, like I said, if you had like a, you know, it beats the heck out of taking it somewhere just to sandblast pieces. I mean, the vinegar is pretty cheap. I don't know what it costs down in the states for you guys, but uh, it's gone up in price here. It's like a couple bucks uh, a jug. It used to be like a buck, around a dollar or something like that, but. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's pretty cheap still, just to clean parts with, uh, a little bit more environmentally friendly too, maybe, uh, well, you're gonna get all the grease and stuff in it, so, but yeah, anyways, decided to run that by you guys. The other thing too is, um, I'm doing as much as the, as much on the engine as I can, like, as far as all the parts and components. I even actually did the main caps too, I'll just show you here one sec. Yeah, so here's the main caps. Not too bad. I had basically had to rinse them and then I had to go at them with a scotch braid, but uh, I'm gonna get some vinegar just to bring inside here and have a little tub, just a little uh, uh, margarine container, fill up some, just put all the bolts in, so. But yeah, not too shabby. I mean, they're look pretty decent so far. Still some more cleaning out to do on them, but yeah, I just thought I'd show you. 
far cry from what they used to look like anyway. Yeah, just the bolt. Once I dip the bolts in vinegar, they'll clean them up pretty good. Not saying I can reuse those, but I think a lot of the bolts are torqued to yield on these engines, so I'll probably get like, I don't know, maybe ARP studs or something like that. I don't know. That's for later on down the road again, so 